Hey, Ed and Wilson here, your hometown realtor, as hometown as apple pie, with this week's Education Corner. Today we're going to talk about roofs. I tell you what, it's so funny, now that I've been doing this for a long time, every time I pull up to a house, I look at a roof. Even if it's a friend's house I'm going to for dinner, I look at the roof, because roofs are such a big deal. The price of roofing has just skyrocketed. So believe it or not, just what, four years ago when I started selling real estate, a roof was a, an average roof of an average house was around six, seven thousand dollars. Well, now they're like fifteen thousand. I don't know what happened, but let's talk about this. This is where a lot of people get really confused. Is they say, okay, but I have a thirty-year shingle or I have a twenty-five-year shingle. Why is my roof bad after fifteen years? I don't understand. Well, a lot of things go into that. First of all, the warranty that's on your shingle is just a manufacturer warranty against defect. So that doesn't mean that if we have a hailstorm or if the sun beats down on your shingle or if a tree scrapes the shingle, all the things that cause shingles to wear out is not covered underneath that warranty. So therefore, guess what? In Florida, we have a beaten sun. Yeah, that sun, it beats down on our houses and our roofs and it wears our shingles down. And so in Florida, we only get about 18 to 20 years on a roof, not 25 to 30. I know this is disappointing. Now I'm talking about a shingle roof, not a metal roof or one of the tile roofs. With that said, we have to be aware that our roofs are only going to last 18, 20 years. Now, why is that a big deal? Here's the kicker. It's a big deal because the insurance companies, when you go to insure a house, when you're buying it, requires that roof to have three to five years of life left on it. So if your roof is 15 years old, and let's say it's going to last 18, you're right at the wire of only having about three years left on that roof. And guess what? Insurance companies won't touch it, which means you can't sell it because in order for someone to get a mortgage, it has to be insurable. I know it's a vicious cycle. I swear sometimes the insurance companies just run the whole thing, but Hey, it is what it is. The game we have to play. So your roof needs to be, has at least three to five years left on it. Now, a couple of things you can do to help your roof stay a little bit longer is you can make sure there's no tree branches hanging over your roof. I know I used to think, well, a tree branch will help keep it shaded from the sun. So it'll last longer, but that is not the case. The truth is that when branches blow in the winds, they scrape the shingle. And when they scrape the shingle, they pull off the granulars off the shingle, which actually wears them down quicker. So you want everything off your roof, no branches, palm trees, whatever, hanging up over your roof. Also, you might want to clean your roof. Now, do not take a pressure cleaner to your roof. It will ruin your shingles. You need a professional company to come up and do a chemical cleaning on it. Not, not, not a, um, with the sprayer, with the power washer. Don't do that. It'll ruin your roof very quickly. Then lastly, just be aware. Maintenance is everything when it comes to a roof. So if you see nails popping up through your shingles, seal them right away. If you see the ridge vent cap get blown off or that wind's getting underneath there, you see little drips, take care of it right away. Anything you delay on a roof can be really bad. So make sure we do it quickly and you take good care of it. And that roof should last up to the 20 years. All right, that is your roof maintenance. That is why roofs last so long in Florida or not so long in Florida. Have a blessed day. It's Edna Wilson, your hometown realtor.